Hi everyone. Oh my gosh. Look at me. I'm in the car and I completely sat here and talked to a friend and didn't realize it was 8.15. So I'm going to wait for a few minutes and see if anybody's going to come on. And we're in Psalm, 8, or Psalm 16 this morning and as I was reading and looking through it last night I realized this is one of my favorite Psalms and it is just pure gold. Oh, the scriptures in here are amazing. The promises in here are some of your life scriptures, I bet. <laughs> Hi, Gail. <laughs> She's freezing. <laughs> Sorry about that. You could turn on your heater. That's <laughs> funny. We are in our um, monthly food line. Um, this is where we come to food distribution, and it's December, and uh, I've never been to um, food distribution where there's um, like 900 cars. So we'll be here for a little while waiting. <clears throat> um, anyway, I wanted to get on here with all of you and have our daily <laughs> devotion. Sorry I'm laughing, but I just can't get over uh, this line and the coldness and I'm probably going to turn the heater back on here and I'm sorry I have to hand hold my phone and move it all around and um, anyway let's get let's get to Psalm 16 and again I probably everybody probably came on at 8 and just decided I was <laughs> lying or something I'm so sorry all right, Psalm 16 is a poem of David intended to record memorable thoughts. So nothing about what kind of instrument that he was using today, but we can imagine that he was singing to the Lord. And um, it's not a bad idea to sing the Psalms as well as you're um, feeling the liberty in your own home. If you'd like to get on your instrument and just sing through the Psalm, uh, it will completely edify you and so and it's a blessing to the Lord he loves to hear you so let's go through this um, just the reading portion and then we're gonna pray through it all right verse 1 keep and protect me God for in you I have found refuge and in you do I put my trust and hide myself I hide myself oh uh, I know I'm going to have to stop here and there. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good beside or beyond you. As for the godly, the saints who are in the land, they are the excellent, the noble, and the glorious in whom is all my delight. Their sorrows shall be multiplied who choose another God. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer or take their names upon my lips. The Lord is my chosen and assigned portion. He's my cup. Isn't that beautiful? You hold and maintain my lot. The lines are fallen for me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a good heritage. Amen. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. Yes, my heart instructs me in the night seasons. I have set the Lord continually before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad and my, my glory, my inner self rejoices. My body will rest and confidently dwell in safety. And he covers everything there, doesn't he? Your heart, your inner self, and your body. For you will not abandon me to Sheol, the place of the dead. Neither will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. Last verse, verse 11. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. And at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Okay, who is saying with me that this is one of their favorite psalms? This is definitely one that David woke up on the right side of the bed, didn't he? He had the right perspective, man. He had all of what we have been given as an inheritance packed into this chapter. And uh, 
I love that we get to pray into these scriptures now. So let's pray. God, we just thank you so much for your word. I just want to stop and say, <laughs> like my sister who is, who is yelling, I love this chapter. <laughs> we love this chapter, God. We're so thankful for your word. We're so thankful for your word. Honestly, Lord, we, we need your direction. We need David to tell us these things. We need you, Lord, to tell us and to remind me of what we remind us of what we have. So today, Lord, we we just say keep and protect us. We have found refuge in you and we trust in you and we hide ourselves in you today, Lord. We come and we just wrap ourselves up. I have a blanket around me and I just wrap myself up in you, Lord, as a blanket. I hide myself in you, God. I thank you, Lord, that you make us inconspicuous at the times when the enemy is coming and you just have him pass over us, pass by us, because we are hidden in you, Lord. You work out the details and it is your battle and you fight on our behalf, Lord, and we just come into, into the place which is our safe refuge in you this morning. And we trust in you this morning, Lord. We hide ourselves in you. And we say to you, we declare with each other right now, let us declare that you are the Lord. You are our Lord, and we have no other one beside you. There's no one good beside or beyond you. And so we declare it with our own mouths today, Father, that you are the one who is good. There's no one else that we have beside you. There's no other good <laughs> beside you. Not one, the, the word says. And as for the godly, the saints who are in the land, that is us, Lord. We are, you are pro proclaiming us to be excellent today. We are noble. We are glorious. And you have delight. You take delight in us, Lord. So we just humble ourselves to know these things about how you see us, Lord. And as you take delight in us, Lord, we tell you that we take delight in you. We love you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. <clears throat> we love you so much, Lord. Even though our sorrows may be multiplied, we uh, we will not choose another God. Here, as it says in verse 4, we only choose you, Lord. We stick to the one true God today in our hearts. No matter the sorrow, no matter the trouble, no matter the trial, we challenge each other today to stick and to stay on the path that you have chosen for us, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, that you have, have set yourself up to be my cup, my portion, our portion, Lord, today. So we take that cup this morning and we drink deeply of you, Lord. We drink of your mercy. We drink of your wellness. We drink of your wholeness right now. We drink of your, your holiness, Lord. We drink of you. You are our portion. You are what we need today, Lord. So as we drink of you today, as you, and you are our cup, God, we <clears throat> say that whatever is in the cup that represents you, it satisf satisfies us completely. It satiates our needs, Lord. It comes into our inner being and makes us well and whole and sound-minded and peaceful and full of grace, Lord because that's who you are, Lord. So we drink deeply of you today. And Lord, we just are, we're so grateful to you that you maintain our lot, that Lord, around us, you have placed a lot that is secure and you maintain it, Lord. You take care of us. You take care of our needs. You take care of what, you, what belongs to us. We put it into your hands, whether it's our family members, our animals that we love, just our possessions, Lord, our homes, our property, our cars, everything that has to do with what, where we live. Lord, we thank you, God, that our lot is secured by you and it is maintained by you. So, Father, we even look to you today to fix the things that need fixing. We look to you to provide for the things that we need, Lord, today. 
and we declare together, let's declare verse 6 together, that the lines are fallen for us in pleasant places, mm -hmm. that, Lord, you have desired for us to live in pleasantry, that you have given us... Lord, I just, I pray, Father, that when things do not look pleasant and we we see things out of order, that we will know and discern that this is not of you. So help, keep us in that plumb line of pleasantry. When we discern and know and understand and realize that things have gone amiss or that something is not right, that we can come to you and ask for your direction how to get back into the place that you intend for us, the pleasant place. And I pray, Lord, that we would not just continue to be beaten down and continue to um, be um, shoved into a corner, so to speak, or put into a place that we do not belong. I just believe this is a word for someone here today, that the Lord has given you pleasant places to live in and that you have a good heritage and that if you are experiencing something that's not like this and you are really truly seeking him that you could stop and receive the counsel and the wisdom of the lord to know what to adjust in your own in your circumstances what to say yes to and what to say no to lord thank you for that adjustment this morning and i pray lord that you will give counsel in verse 7 it says that you are our counselor that you we bless you because you give us counsel i pray lord that our hearts would instruct us in the night seasons when we go into to our beds at night and we are sleeping lord um oh, it just reminds me of the most beautiful dream that i had last night lord i pray that you'd give us dreams and visions and instruction and counsel and that we would meditate upon you in our beds at night that we would understand your word that you would bring your word back to counsel us at night i pray that every single person on this uh, devotional would would hear from you that the night seasons would become rich that there would be um, deep sleep but there would also be visitations from the lord I pray, Father, that you would come to us and that we would understand you and be uh, not hesitant to hear from you. And I thank you, Lord, that you counsel us. I thank you that you instruct us, Lord. We set you continually, continually before us, Lord. You're at our right hand. We recognize where you are, that you will not allow us to be moved or shaken. And so we just declare today, Lord, that with you at our right hand, we, all things are possible. We can do anything in Christ Jesus who strengthens us. And therefore, our heart is glad, and we thank you, Lord. You are the one who turns our sadness into a glad heart. And so we just, we just receive from you today, God, the gladness that you want to put into our hearts and that we will be able to rejoice. Our inner selves, our inner man, will bubble up with rejoicing and joy, and Lord, our bodies will rest, that we'll truly know in our bodies, every cell will be able to come into a place of rest, that we'll be confidently dwelling in safety in you, God. We thank you for this, Lord. We thank you for the wellness and the wholeness that David is speaking of here, body, soul, and spirit. And we just pray and declare that today, Lord, that you have given us this in Christ Jesus, that we have a place to go that is restful and peaceful in our bodies, and that you have a wholeness, Lord, that we just, we really want to tap into today. We really, I pray for anyone who's on uh, the devotional time today that is feeling sick, having any symptoms, any colds, flu, any virus, any sickness at all, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name that they would be healed. Lord, we just extend your hand of comfort and healing. Lord, we thank you so much, God, that you will not abandon us to the grave. I pray against anyone here feeling like they're going to die or that they'll be abandoned to the grave. 
the Lord saying to you today that he is not going to abandon you, that you are not going to die, that you are that this is not a sickness unto death. And Lord, we just cover, we cover our minds, we cover everything that's coming in through the media that just wants us to be afraid all the time, Lord. We say no, that our best friend is Jesus, not fear. And so we just we just shush off the fear in the atmosphere in Jesus' name. We just say be quiet in Jesus' name. And Lord, we thank you that you have shown us the path of life, that you are showing us the path of life, that you are giving us the path of life, and we choose to put our feet right on that path today. We walk, walk, walk in the path of life that Jesus has given us. In your presence is fullness of joy. And so, Lord, just come with your presence. We invite your presence today. We thank you for your presence, Lord, that you're, you're here. You're our master and king, and you give us great joy. In your right hand, truly, our pleasures forevermore. And so we just take a hold of your right hand, Lord, and we take a hold of those pleasures, Lord, that you have for us, that somehow, Lord, you would still us still our hearts to the point that we would know that you want us to enjoy you and then to enjoy the life that you've given us. We just breathe life. We breathe life into this today, into your word and into the hearing of those that are on here, that the life of God would come right now in Jesus name the pleasures of the Lord that are at his right hand would be yours in Jesus name in Jesus name Lord we thank you this is the day that the Lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it God bless you all today thank you for coming on this journey with me we have so many psalms will be in this for another five months and whatever happens in the next five months we will have the enduring word of the lord as our anchor so so join me any any morning you can and thank you again i'll see you tomorrow before church um i think around eight o'clock but i'll post when i'll be on and we'll be in psalm 17 tomorrow god bless you and let me just see who, if anyone has commented or is on here, because I always want to acknowledge who might be watching. Thank you for coming, Michelle and Ezra and Greg and Cheryl and Bobby and, of course, Gail. God bless you all. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.